Morning guys, Mark Fresh with ProTech Dog Training and Toffee. Good. So as usual, I've already picked what I want to work on today. I'm going to start on my down on the walks, which has already started pretty good, but we're going to accent that even more. And we're going to go out in public and we're going to do our around the corner work and do that with Toffee. So let me see how it works. We've got a lot of left hand turns. You have a tendency to forge, so I'm probably going to bring out the stick and tap him underneath the chin here pretty quick. Keep him to learn to stay back using a stick. We'll see how it goes. Toffee. What I call the guide stick, right? That's all you're doing is basically guiding the dog. Good, Toffee. Oh, yeah, good. Good boy, good. Good boy. Good boy. A lot of left hand turn. Good. Good boy. Toffee, good set. The lip of the table gives me something as a drop off, so unconsciously right away that gives me a good accent point for my downs on the walk. Notice also I've got the box here. We're going to be using that for our downs on the walk as we go in through the down. He's never been on a box, we're going to start introducing the box to him and see how it goes. Toffee? Oh, yeah. Good. Good boy. Good. Notice I'm not really looking for a focused feel so much. Cushion. Good. Cushion. Good. Good boy, good. Toffee, good. Yep, good boy, good. He's looking for ball, he doesn't really want food. His, ball, his head is all in the ball. That's all he cares about. Good boy. All right, Toffee, couche, pavoje. So we're gonna move some things here. Get a little bit of better angle on the camera. I think I'll go ahead and move the table because I want to introduce the box to him. I don't have food to use as much because he could give a hoot about food. His mind is forward towards balls. That's all he cares about. Kush. No. Good. Toffee. Oh, yeah. Good. So we're going to not worry about it too much until I get him set. Good boy, chop chop. And if you notice this box, nice square, and it's about perfect body size for him. All right, come on. Good boy, chop. Good boy, chop. Nope. Good boy. Toffee. Good boy. And I'll spin it around towards you. And normally the way they would introduce a box to a dog or a puppy, hey, see where he goes? His head's all forward for anything that moves. He loves to chase ball. Make a good drug dog, he could go the whole way. I haven't done hunt and drive tests with him out here in the hills. I will sooner or later. His owner's not going to put him on the street, but we're going to try to treat him like he's a police dog as much as possible. What does that mean? That means I don't care about a focused heel. I want him to have a little bit loose, looser about of, of, of obedience because I don't want to have so much control that he's really centered on me. And that's the way his head's at anyway. So um, uh, basically, I, I doing general obedience and having a good control if it's important making sure we test him out in public which we're already doing he's fine with that we're going to do a lot more down stays around the corner work and really saturate him with the public because that's what we need for reliability so he just chills out he doesn't have any problems with that but i want to make sure i really saturate him with that so he chills out with the down stays and stuff right his food drive is not much see i just kind of refuse he don't care his brain's out to the balls that's all he cares about is balls Every dog's different. And this one, he's just that way. Good boy, Toppy. Box. Kusha. Kusha. Box. Good. He has no clue. I'll try food. He doesn't care. Good, Toppy. Nope. Kusha. Good, good. Good. And what I'm going to do is start teaching him rules right off the bat. I don't want to throw the ball forward from a locked cage like this, this box. The reason being is I never want him to feel like he can forge forward. So we're going to start these behaviors and habits now. Kusha. Good. So I'll bring the ball up to him. He wants it. And then I'll go, I, I, I'll go backwards. The rules are still there. He knows he's not supposed to touch it. Toffee. Get it, get it, get it, get it. And I'll go backwards, away from it. That way the dog doesn't want to forge forward. We don't even let that bad behavior start in. A lot of people have a top problem with the dogs breaking and moving forward. If we never give him that option and everything we do with our reward placement and that sort of thing is backwards, he'll always get used to doing it that way. The other thing he could learn, we could start doing that with him, is all the different reward placements of where the ball comes from. Behind the alley, behind the back, 
between the legs, over the head, so that the dog goes over my head, so that his head is up and then he looks over. These four or five, maybe six different reward placements that you can use to teach a dog to stay where he's supposed to stay, right? If you have the ball here as an example, Toffee, up, oh, yeah, good boy, good, nope. See where the dog's head go, goes when the ball's out. It takes the dog's head to a totally different place. That's another reason that you have to understand drive states and every dog is different, right? So if I hold the ball here, look at Toffee. His head's already swinging in front of me. Pretty soon he's gonna be crabbing, right? So I've gotta teach him the ball, no. It could be here and teach him to give, suppress this where he doesn't wanna go after the ball here until I tell him to. Yes, good boy, good. So he knows the rules, but when he first came in, he had no rules. He'd about take your hand off going after that ball, right? Now he's got this, out, kusha. Good, get it, get it, get it, get it. So we have control and rules to the game with our two tuck ball game, right? Good boy, Toffee. Good. Out. Kusha. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, so let me get him working here. Try to get off of our theory and get him to work in the dog. So good boy, Toffee. Good boy, Toffee. Toffee out. Good. Done. Done. Toffee. Good. Good. Start a pattern here. Couche. Good, Toffee. Get it, get it, get it. Backwards. And then dropping into the box, try to set up a pattern that I can work with to build the dog, right? Good boy. And that's all training is. There's nothing more than, more than patterns. Good boy, good. Toffee out. Good, good. So we have impulse control. We have rules of the game. Yes. That we have to work with. We'll pull those in. When we first started, we didn't have any of that. Copy out. Good. Okay. Good. Now, notice what happened. Right away, I pulled the ball here. He's got his brain into a, a different place. So many things, so many places you could take this dog. Um, meaning, he doesn't know right now, not yet, that I can have a ball drop out of my armpit. Good, Toppy. Yes. Good boy, good. So we can teach him where that ball comes from in that regards. He doesn't know the reward placement, the four or five places to put a ball out. Good. For your, your work, notice what happens. See, right away, he wants to forge because I've got it in my right hand. So I've got to start doing this, OPA, and teach him where it comes from out of my armpit. Good, good boy, good. I'm gonna do it in a static position to start. Good, good, Toffee. Yes, good boy, good. Until he knows it's coming from my armpit. Good, Toffee, out. Good. Good boy. Nope. Our OPA. OPA. Good, no. Good, good boy, good. Toffee. Good boy, good, Toffee. Yes, good boy. And I did that on purpose behind him instead of right on his mouth. Because I want him to really pay attention to where that ball is coming from. When he does, he'll back up. He won't be as forward. Copy. Out. Good. Good. We can hold it here with our right hand. Everything's going to cause a body posture change. Nope. Copy. So I could ask for a look first and then give him his reward here. Remember, I'm only showing you this stuff because I want you to accent the fact he knows none of this. And I have options to go in a thousand different directions using the power of the ball because this dog is high on that ball, right? But it could cause problems dry state wise if I'm not aware and cognizant of it and I hold it in the wrong spot, right? I hold it here, he starts crabbing. If I want the dog to back up, I'm gonna start teaching him behind the back and behind the alley. Toppy, yes, good boy, yes, good boy, good, good boy. So that he learns to go behind that back and learns where those different placements are all. They're called the reward placements. So I'm at that stage right now. We're just kind of trying to get a feel for it, figuring out which way I'm going to go with the dog. Out. Toffee. Out. Good. Done. Good boy. Done. Good boy. Toffee. Oh, yeah. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Toffee. Cool shake. No. No. Good. 
Good boy. He's an older dog. If I had a puppy, I would be using food. And I would, I would accent the word box a little bit more direct. But I'm going to use my, my uh, down on the walk to start getting him familiar with the box. I'll add in the words as we go along and try to get him in the box. But without that food draw, because he doesn't have much food draw. Look where his head's at. He's only thinking ball. He could give a hoot. See, I turn his head. He doesn't care about this food. Couché. Good. No. Couché. And then his drive state is in a different mental place because of the ball drive. And I have to be aware of that and cognizant and see and aware of it in regards to what does it cause in the dog's whole posture and where his head's at. And a lot of this for a police dog is fine. I don't want to pull him so, so centered on me that he has to worry about me all the time. If I did that, then I would take away that edge that they're going to use in doing scenarios and all kinds of other training that they would do in police work. Good. But I do want some semblance of control. Toffee? Toffee. Good, good. Toffee? Kusha. Nope. Good. Good boy, good. Toffee? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good boy, good. Good boy. Toffee. Good. Kusha. Notice my lip wag. Right away, I brought him back. Very aware of sounds and, and uh, Verbalizations with no sound. That lip wag, he dropped that ball and right away came back towards me. Yeah, copy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. scattered on everything because I got my brain going all over the place and figuring out what I'm going to do with him to bring all this together. But uh, one of those things I want to talk about is our long line. And I was going to do a special video with this, but being the, the holidays and everything, my guy's not around to do the filming. So let me go ahead and move the camera, top of the shit, and we'll see if I can get set up to do a little yak session. We'll come back to it. We'll, we'll talk about the long line in a second. Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training and Toffee.